Welcome to Learn Yourself. Let us understand all the trends together for modern periodic table. This topic is under CBSE standard 10 syllabus. In previous videos, we have discussed about valency, then atomic size, metallic and non metallic character, all these trends across the period and across the group. Now, let us understand that how to remember that along with their scientific reason. So, here this is a kind of flow chart I have made it and here these points are for valence electron so these are group group 1 and group 2 so across the group the valence electron will remain same as you are going down 1 1 orbital will increase but the valence electron will remain same so here in the first period it will be k then l then m and n so this one electron is in K shell, this one electron is in L shell and so as here this one electron in M shell and inside all the orbitals are completely filled. Here similarly for group 2, the 2-2 two, two electrons will be there in their valence shell. So valence electron will remain same across the group. Now when we are talking about period, so it is only for one shell and this is first period is for K shell second period is for L shell. So in one particular shell, one one electron is being added up until that orbit will be completely filled with eight electrons. Last will be noble gases. So here one, two, three, four and eight. So complete eight electrons will be there. So across the period, all the electrons are being added up in same shell. So this you need to remember that here the same shell, one one electron is being added up here orbitals are being added up but valence electron will remain same. So this is across the group, this is across the period. Now we are talking about atomic size. So atomic size towards left to right, the atomic size will decrease. Why it will decrease? Because one one electron is being added up in the same shell and the nuclear charge I am writing here NC. The nuclear charge will increase. So that's why the atomic size will decrease. The electrons are being pulled towards nucleus. So that's why the nu atomic size will decrease. Whereas from top to bottom or across the group, atomic size will increase. Because 1-1 one, one orbital is being added up. So from here K, L, M and N. Here also nuclear charge will work but the distance will overcome the nuclear charge. That is important point and that we have to mention. That distance will overcome the nuclear charge and that's why the atomic size will increase. Now moving towards the second thing that electron losing tendency. We know that metallic character from left to right it will decrease and here all the non-metals are there. So electron losing tendency will decrease as we are going from left to right and what is the reason for that? That the nuclear charge is more and we cannot pull the electrons with it is not easy for us to pull out the electrons or we can write that as the non-metallic characters are increased towards the right hand side they have more affinity towards electrons so it is not easy to take out electron or their tendency to lose electron will decrease as they are non-metals now from top to bottom the losing electron will increase because as they are moving far from nucleus the nuclear charge will decrease and it is easy to take out the electron and electron losing tendency will increase. And here the metallic character will increase. So that's why electron losing from top to bottom will also increase. This we know that metallic character from left to right it will decrease and from right to left it will increase. And as we are going from top to bottom the metallic character will increase. So these are some of the important trends in periodic table. This way you can remember all the trends along with its reason.